Eddie, I completely forgot. I've just been slowed under this community open day next week. The new administrator's very keen on these outreach initiatives. Have you met Dr. Winter? Not yet. What's her idea to get the radio station going again? <laughs> She's a woman of ideas, all right. She wants to introduce group therapy into the acute wards. Most of the doctors think it's a waste of time anyway. Where would we get the trained staff, even if we could afford them? So what happened at the board meeting? No can do, I'm afraid. But the mixer's down to two channels. I'm sorry, Eddie, but the feeling was that if the radio station can't be run with the existing equipment, then it's a luxury we can't afford. But it means a lot to the patients. Well, so would group therapy. Well, between you and me, I don't think that's going to happen either. Listen, I must uh, Lady Chalmers is going to be the guest of honour at the Open Day, and I've got to meet with the Friends of St Jude's to make the arrangements. Oh, which reminds me, Dr Winter wanted to know if you wanted to do anything for Open Day. I'll ask the others. Tell me, are the others all still patients? Aye. I just wondered. How bad is it? We're getting nothing. They're afraid we may be a luxury they can't afford, but they do want to know if we want to do something for the open day next week. What do you think? They can't do this! How long can we keep going? A few months. A few days. They are nipping my brilliant career in the bud! They weren't ready here, you know. Oh, aye. That's how they do things in here. They never say you can't do that or you can't have that, but you can't. If you want to put a poster up by your bed, they'll tell you there's no blue tack. If you find some blue tack, they'll tell you it'll damage the paint. If you get some paint, they'll tell you the colour doesn't match. They never actually stop you, but somehow you just stop. Well, not this time. Eddie, you tell them that, yes, we do want to do something for the open day. We're going to run a fundraiser to buy a new mixing desk. How? I see a hospital radio roadshow on a flatbed lorry. I see music and dancing. I see reporters. I see no money, Campbell. What we'll charge to play requests and dedications. And then we will pull off one absolutely brilliant publicity stunt that will blaze its colours across every newspaper in Scotland. Such as? I don't know. I, I could get up on the roof of the hospital and threaten to jump unless the punters give us enough to buy a new mixer. Ah, but they might want you to jump. Well, then I'll threaten no to jump unless the punters give us enough to buy a new mixer. Campbell, they are not going to let you threaten to jump off the hospital roof for their mental health week open day. It was only my first idea. Come on, Fergus, Rosalie, we got to mobilise the troops. Hospital radio must survive. <laughs> Rosalie, what are you doing? I'm just writing a list. Come on! I want to train as a DJ. Rosalie Garrity. My name is Dr. Cairns. Sorry. Please come in. <clears throat> well now, Mrs. Garrity. You've been with us, what, six weeks now? That's right. Tell me, do you know why you're here? I do. Why are you here? I thought you were the doctor. I am the doctor. Then how do you not know why I'm here? Mrs. Garrity, I'll be frank with you. In my clinical opinion, there is no longer any reason to keep you here. Well, I'll be away then. No, no, please. Sit down. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, your husband is not prepared for you to go home again without certain guarantees. Uh, 
how would you feel about having your medication by long-acting injection in the future? All right. <clears throat> Is there anybody else that you could stay with for the moment? A relative or a friend, maybe? Can I not just stay here? No, you can't, Mrs. Garrity. What about your son? You had a son, didn't you? Robert or Robbie. Aye, I had a son. Well, I'll, um, I'll see if I can set up a meeting with you and Mr. Garrity, and we'll try and work something out, shall we? Fellow inmates, I suppose you're all wondering why I've asked you here today. Just go on where it been. We all remember what life here was like before hospital radio. Aye, a lot quieter. You're right, Hector. Hospital radio has brought us music, laughter, got us dancing in the corridors. Before that, the most excitement we got here was listening to you fart God Save the Queen or waiting for Myra the Catatonic to blink. Now, is that what you want to go back to? Is it? No. Well, unless we can raise the dosh to buy a new mixer, that's all there's going to be around here. What's a mixer? Shh. But with your help, we are going to be holding a fundraiser at the open day. We are going to be staging a hospital radio roadshow through a five kilowatt PA on a flatbed lorry in the courtyard. And we're going to need volunteers to help set up and run the show, to help rattle tins, but most of all, to help with the main fundraising event of the day, the Looney Pools. Looney Pools? We're going to be handing out coupons like this one with details of the contestants. Half loonies, half boring folk. who will be assigned numbers, one to 24, by lottery. Two loonies in a pair is a score draw worth three points, but if only the odd-numbered contestant is a loonie, then it's a home win, one point. If only the even-numbered contestant is a loonie, then it's an away win, one and a half points. If neither of them are loonies, it's a no-score draw, two points. A pound a line, best of eight, high score wins, five dividends of cheap prizes. What? Basically, it's spot the loonie. Oh, oh right. Oh, now, volunteers. Aye, I'll volunteer. Me as well. That's the spirit because we're going to show them. We are loonies, and we are proud. Say it. We, we are loonies, and we are proud. We are loonies, and we are proud. Now, any questions? Hi. Can I go to the toilet? Away you go. Any other questions? Where is this flatbed lorry coming for? That's a detail we haven't worked out yet, but we're working on it. So who's bringing this massive PA, then? Well, that's another detail we've not sorted out yet. What exactly have you sorted out so far? Well, Sandy in the kitchen's been saving us some tins to rattle. <laughs> oh, come on! Have some faith! I thought everybody liked my God Save the Queen. Still rattle the tins, eh? I've come for my DJ lesson. Hi, come in, have a seat. My mother used to say if you drink spirits in the afternoon, you're an alcoholic. But then she thought if you drink anything, including shandy, any time, including weddings and funerals, you were an alcoholic. But don't! Use an ashtray, huh? Are you going to have to shut the station down now? Not yet. What will you do if you have to shut down? Don't know. Spend some more time with my family. You haven't got a family. Throw myself into my work. What do you do anyway? 